Recording in three, two. Hey YouTube, it's me guys, it's Zavadar here. How are you guys doing today? Today, bringing us fantastic, fantastic news about Minecraft the Xbox 360, guys. Like always, I know Black Ops 2 Uprising was just released. I'm getting gameplay right after I upload this video. Trust me guys, I'll bring some content on that ASAP. But, TU10 was released. And now you guys may be wondering, TU9 just came out. How are we already on TU10? Well, TU9, yes, it did come with... The Ender Dragon and the Ender Portals and all this really cool stuff, new wood, yada yada yada. But TU10 is a bug fix update. Unfortunately, there is nothing really big being added, but there are some major fixes, and you can see on screen right now the uh, list of fixes that are in TU10, which are, which is out now. So next time you log into Minecraft the Xbox 360, you're gonna see an update, and you're gonna be wondering why. And uh, yeah, so let's go over the fixes really quickly, guys. The main fix is the fix for Silver Live Profiles getting an error message on loading a save. I know this very, very well. My brother has Silver um, Xbox Live, and, you know, he, uh, he he spent a long time on one of his worlds. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. And he couldn't load it up. He was really, really um, mad, and he asked me all the questions on, like, why it wasn't working. So now he can load it up once he gets back home. He's uh, visiting somewhere. I'm not going to disclose where. Anyway, so enough about my brothers. Uh, the second one, fixed for lighting bug causing you unlit areas even when lit sources were placed in these areas. So, for example, um, I know I have, like, a little underground, like, little mining place where I put all my tools and diamonds and redstone and all that good stuff I find in my mines. And uh, some of the chests are um, not lit and whatnot. It's a little bit of, like, an OCD kind of issue. It's not really that big. It's not game-changing, but it does, uh, does really affect me in the sense that I get kind of, like nerve-wracked when I see like a little dark area and I see a torch right next to the area, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so, fix slowdown caused by explosions, TNT, and creepers. I like that, I really do, because I love when TNT explodes, who doesn't? And same with creepers, unless a creeper actually kills you. That's unfortunate, in which I apologize. But, it does slow down the game usually, and uh, especially if you're playing split screen and on the same console and whatnot, so now, hopefully, that is fixed and uh, now the game will not slow down. Anyway, fixed frame rate slow down the end by experiencing by sorry in the end being experienced by some players uh, until the ender crystals were destroyed. So that's just very straightforward. Fixed crash when placing lots of item frames with maps inside. I can see that kind of be like mapception, if you will. I don't know. <laughs> Fixed collision box issues at the top of ladders. That's fantastic. Many people can climb ladders. Who doesn't like ladders? Mm, Minecraft fun facts coming up. Maybe. <laughs> Fixed issues with animals taking damage randomly or falling through wooden plank floors. That kind of had me mad. I made a barn once. I remember that a while ago, and I made like a wooden barn, so even if the floor is wood and the animals just sunk right through it. I don't even know how or what caused it, but it happened. Kind of made me mad because, you know, I had all these animals nice and they're like little pens and just fell right through. <laughs> made dispensers suck water and lava back into an empty bucket. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks for potion bottles being launched from a dispenser. Woo! Enabled placing pressure plates on nether fence. Awesome. That's really cool, guys. So now you can make, um, you know, like doors and gates and switches and whatnot with these pressure plates. Now you can put them on nether fences. Uh, fix an issue with fire charges sticking at the edge of the world. That's pretty cool. Change to not be able to place more than a maximum amount of paintings, item frames, rather than removing previously placed ones. Awesome. Stop, place, stop players from interacting with item frames and paintings when can build a mine is disabled. That's pretty cool, actually. Because uh, if you have a like, nice like little museum built in your world and you have nice uh, sculptures and paintings and other things and item frames, I guess. Uh, I guess when you have can build in mind is disabled, people were able to punch them and knock them down. That is now fixed. Awesome. And uh, guys, I know my uh, 4J Studios has been working at this working on the uh, custom skin animator for quite a time. So they fixed the custom skin animation settings not working. And uh, now the Ender Dragon does play the correct sound when you hit him and attack him. Anyway, guys, so again, TU10 is out. This is officially TU10, but I am hearing rumors and seeing rumors that TU11 will be the big, the, the next biggest update with uh, ocelots and iron golems and new biomes and whatnot. I'll bring more to you guys if I find out more and if it's confirmed. I don't want to bring um things that I don't really see confirmed or you know official because I don't know. I, I hate bringing bad news like. 
sorry, false news. I should say not bad because who doesn't like ocelots? That's positive news. But I don't, I don't like to bring news to you guys and then find out later that it's not true because then I need to go delete the video and it's just no, not not fun. Um, <laughs> so yeah, guys, trust me, I'll be bringing you guys all the information about TU11 that I have. And uh, I'll definitely uh, keep you guys up to date with that. So TU10 is out as of now. Uprising DLC for Black Ops 2 is out as well. I just finished downloading the DLC. So I'm going to go hop on, play with a couple buddies of mine, and hopefully get some gameplays for you guys. And uh, maybe I can... Uh Whoa, excuse me. Ho hopefully I can, uh, you know, tell you guys a little bit more about the DLC and whatnot and what I think about it. Anyway, guys, so this will be a quick video. Guys, let me know about, bleh, let me know what little change about TU10 you guys like best. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Put it in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Top box is a previous video, which I am blanking. No, PAX East day number two. And uh, you see Hutch playing chess with a buddy of mine. And uh, you see a lot of cool YouTubers in that. You see C Nanners. You see Jericho, Gold Glove, Razor giveaways. Really cool. Check that out, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bottom box is a random video. Peace out. Have a great day. TU10 is out. Uprising. Here I come.